This video will demonstrate establishing an intraosseous infusion site in a patient when traditional intravenous access is not possible. This technique may be performed in both adult and pediatric patients using a variety of commercially available devices, including manual and battery-powered devices. The choice of insertion site may be the anterior tibia in children or adults or the sternum used only in adults. This video will demonstrate establishing an intraosseous infusion site utilizing the anterior tibia and a battery-powered insertion device. Place the patient in a supine position. If available, another provider may help stabilize the patient's leg. Assemble the equipment, which includes the battery-operated drill, appropriately sized I.O. infusion needle, syringe and tubing filled with at least 5 cc of sterile saline, antiseptic, and tape. Assure proper body substance isolation, or BSI. Identify the proper landmarks. For the tibia, it is the anterior medial proximal tibia just below the tibial tuberosity. The insertion area is cleaned with an antiseptic. Holding the drill at a 90 degree angle to the tibia, activate the drill and insert the rotating needle through the skin and into the bone cortex. A pop will be felt upon entering the bone cortex, and a lack of resistance against the needle will be felt. Release the trigger of the drill. While holding the needle in place, remove the drill from the I.O. needle. Next, release and remove the trocar from the center of the needle. Attach the syringe with saline to the needle hub and draw back the syringe plunger slightly, looking for fluid from the marrow cavity to mix with the saline. Dry taps are not uncommon. Next, inject 5 cc of saline, observing for signs of infiltration. If no signs of infiltration occur, remove the syringe, attach the IV tubing, and set the flow rate, and secure the needle and tubing. 